Hey, y'all, grown black folks talk, a black woman bright spot, how we deal with people who we got to let go. Now, we have had enough grim topics, and I've said that. I wanted to bring us something brighter today, but I was racking my brain because there's so much to talk about that isn't. And then Level Up Single Mom came into my comments on my video about Mr. and Mrs. Day Star Peterson. Tori Lanes is married, and I recommended her book for single mothers, and she had the most... The book is about level up, how to reclaim your dignity. The key word is dignity. The dignity of this response while completely laying out the foolery of the people involved without dehumanizing them is something that I think we should look at and examine as a dignified way of understanding where people are, being able to express how they are, and then saying, my value is my value, but it's just not for you. Uh, you're not ready for all this. It was the most dignified response for a Black woman with a book about dignity of Black women. I'm going to read it. Uh, Level Up Single Mom responded, sad to say it, but I'll never have anything of enough value to a woman that would even consider marrying this man under these circumstances. Now, that first sentence, notice that she did not say, I do not have enough value she was very specific. We know what Miss Kiana Footman has done. She has written a very valuable book. She is raising two beautiful children. She is going on with her life despite the things that she experienced and described in that book. And she has built a YouTube channel that has been helpful to hundreds and hundreds of women at this point. Level Up Single Mom, Mrs. Kiana Footman understands her value. But at the same time, she also understands for a woman who's looking for to marry a Tory Lane, who is a convicted felon, my value is not for that. And I read that and I thought to myself, okay, I never even thought about that. And then now I know no need to associate her work with this level of foolery. So I received instruction from the first sentence. <laughs> she, Ms. Footman goes on to say, her motives, speaking of Ms. Peterson, are clear. That's not a denouncement of her. So she makes sure to stop right here and say, I'm not attacking this woman's humanity. I'm not denouncing her. She goes on to say, he, Mr. Peterson, has a lot, has a lot to offer to someone invested in that lifestyle. So she manages to address the foolery while saying, okay, but then people have a right to be invested. So she's able to talk about Mr. and Mrs. Peterson in a way that affirms their right to their own choices in their lifestyle. And then she said, any woman who would find value in what I have to offer, keyword, find value. It doesn't mean the value is not there. The value is there. But for a woman to find value, quote, any woman that would find value in what I have to offer has to already have developed a palette for more nourishing experiences. I'm up here like in my mind, I'm I'm tasting the 90% chocolate and doing the provenance and some of you who are wine drinkers are swirling it around the glass because we are on a dignity level. We are on, this is, this is a luxury level. This is a level up sentence, y'all. We're talking about having the taste of goodness in your mouth and not having the taste of goodness in your mouth. If you want better, if the taste of better is in your mouth, then you need to go ahead and get level up how to reclaim your dignity as a single mother. It will be in the description. If you're not interested in that, nope, no need. Because you have to already have made up your mind that you want it better, that you're choosing better. And once you've made up your mind that you're choosing better, then this would be available to you. Then she said, could close, quote, but as always, thank you for highlighting my work. So just a very gracious, dignified woman. And this is what you can expect to receive when you receive her book. But why I'm featuring this comment is not just to hype that book, although I am hyping that book. I'm also talking about a couple things. When someone is authentic to what they are presenting to you, they walk their talk. That is a comment of a dignified woman who is healed and whole enough to allow other black women and men their experiences. I never would have said Tory Lanez had anything to offer anybody, except of course, his son. 
as a father. But I also said he's a convicted felon. I mean, that's not really something that, but he is the father. So I hadn't thought beyond that. But, you know, there's a whole lifestyle and there's access to a whole circle of people that Tory Lanez is in. And, you know, she'll be holding the torch for him for that however long it would take for him to get out on bond however long it would take for him to get out of prison you know and she does have his son so marriage to him means she continues to have access i hadn't even thought about that and i definitely had not thought about as much that people do have to have the taste of good in their mouth and like it not everybody likes chocolate or wine some people are very good with Funyuns and uh, Big Macs. I, but some of us have advanced beyond that. You know, it is what it is. I mean, but for those who want Funyuns and Big Macs, we're all sitting here like, if you eat that three times a day, if that's all you eat, baby, you're going to die. We know this, the salt, the sugar, all the rest. But if someone has a taste for that, then that's their choice. Which is why we don't denounce people for their choices. We can encourage them to make better ones, but it's also necessary for us to understand. Everybody ain't willing. And this comment epitomized a woman that is moving in that kind of understanding. So she, her, this suggests to me that her book is actually authentic. I mean, I'm not questioning it, Kiana, but I'm saying her book is authentic to what she is talking about. A single mother who has gone through all the demeaning behavior that Black women have gone through. Um, I'll see if I can find her interview with, was it Themis and Thoth? I think it was. I'll see if I can find an interview where you get to hear her talking about this book. She's been through a lot of things that single mothers go through with men who had the most, I remember having read that book and I'm like, I'm embarrassed for these men since they have no shame. And still came here and presented a response that says, this is the value that I have. It does not go with a woman like this. Uh, and this is why I'm not denouncing her, but she's not ready. Thank you for promoting it. But I did need to say that. This is a bright spot because that one comment is a model of how Black women can do and say the things they need to do and maintain a high level of dignity. And when you consider what she went through and how these type of black men are doing their best to break us down for every reason. And Kiana Footman just came through here like a queen and handled the situation like a queen. And she's a much nicer queen than I would be. I told her before she's had people up on her show. If they came and did that fool with me, it would have been highly entertaining, but not as enjoyable for the person. And she just sat there and smiled and handled him like a benevolent queen. When I grow up, I got to learn how to do that. Because y'all know, y'all y'all know, y'all. if y'all used to watch me with Team of the Thought, y'all already know. I don't have that much patience. And that's something that I need to develop because one of the fruit of the spirit, one of the segments of the fruit of the spirit of God is patience. But when you do have patience and you have grown sufficiently, you are able to understand that although people are making different decisions and we want to help, that does come a moment where what we have to offer is not what they want. They don't have a taste for it. So we don't have to denounce them. We can call it what it is. They are here with the Funyuns and the Big Macs three times a day, but that's their choice. We don't have to dehumanize. We just have to let that go. And we can do it with queenly dignity. I love that comment, Kiana. And I thought this was a good way within our own subscriber base here. Thank you for being part of my subscriber base. Among us is primarily Black women with some Black men who also are understand how to operate as a king with kingly dignity in the space. Mm -hmm. Um that among us, we have people that are growing and healing and are with dignity determining, and uh, what I have to offer is not for you. I'm not going to denounce you, but uh, 
no, you, you need to have more of a taste for good before you can even see what I'm bringing to the table. For everybody else, the link will be in the description. If I can find the interview um, with uh, Themis and Thoth, I'll put that in there too so you can kind of get more of a sense of how this woman carries herself. And just know, someone who is as close to you as our subscriber base was able to bring this level of leveling up to the situation. The only problem I have with this is now I want chocolate. <laughs> I want some good 70% chocolate and I don't have a bit of it around here and I could have gone and bought some today and be ready. But you know, what I'm trying to do is not take my walk time and undo it. So no, but when I get my fifth book finished, I will probably go. And because of Kiana Footman, Talking about our more nourishing palate. I'm going to eat them collard greens and I'm going to have a good piece of chocolate and swirl it around on my palate and be glad that we as Black women can move on with queenly dignity from situations and people who are not ready for the value we bring to the table. Y'all have a good day now. I wanted to bring us something brighter and, 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 and encouraging. And thank you, Kiana, for that wonderful comment. All right, y'all have a good day now. Be sure to check the description for her book. And if I can find the interview with Themis and Thoth, it'll be there. All right, bye.